everyone. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com and welcome. Welcome to SWHC. This is the play of the day and what a beautiful play it is. And the funny thing was I did not do the second or the third call I made in this and I just took some of this right down into that last drop and got in it again. <laughs> this and um ed who was in the room and uh, ed's done the class was waiting and waiting and waiting and he texted me that he finally couldn't take it anymore and he got out and so i because he texted me i said oh i'm just gonna look at it and then i saw it here here's what i saw he was telling me he got out of it here it didn't break the low and then i looked at it and i saw it do this little teeny weeny thing here and i said ah oh. and i took it with like a five cent stop and it dropped into here and i just got out so I just chunked out a little bit more to my day, thanks to Ed, because I wasn't, I was done for the day pretty much. Um, but let's go over this. Anyways, this is a really, really nice scat. And I saw it the night before. And actually, this is one of the top three that I was watching to set up on Friday morning, which was today. I said, you know what, we only need one good one. And so I was watching this one last night and it got down. And the other two that I liked didn't work out, did not play out right, didn't even gap down. So then I had nothing else to watch. And of course, I saw the market this morning. I said, well, we're lucky we have something good. Dream target on this was 960. $10 was a realistic target. None of that was going to happen today, though, against this beautiful bullish market. And um, so I got out of the first trade this morning on this because I saw what the market was doing. As it turns out, the market fell deep and hard into the morning. And here's the drop I got in this initially. And I was all out, all out in the first move. Called the second trade, called another trade in it, didn't do any of them, went and had lunch, came back, and decided to do that last one there in the 15 minute. But let me just show you here what this did. And I want this to set up today in an ideal form. I got this whole drop and I got out, I had a perfect exit here. And I'm glad I got out of that because it wiggled and jiggled until it broke. And I would not have wanted to stay in this whole trade till three o'clock this afternoon. So I would have ended up getting out of it some point in here if I hadn't got out of the drop. When you have a drop like this though, and to reversal time, you got to get out of a chunk of a trade, 50%, 80%, whatever you wanna do. I actually got out of the whole thing in here was a nice trade though and had a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful re-entry. The problem was the market was so bullish that this took a long, 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 long time to go. And this is the trade that Ed was in and Gerard was in it too and a bunch of other people, but I decided not to redo it. I lost conviction in it going to the dream target, which was 960 or $10 as a result of the market today. Now, that being said, like I said, when Ed texted me, I went and looked at it and I said, wait a minute. And when I saw this green bar here go up and go nowhere, see what happened here. As soon as this green bar triggered, it was also breaking the low of the day. The low of the day is a horrific entry, but this was basically a green bar reversal in here. It was like a sandwich, except for it's better than a sandwich because in the time it did the sandwich and hit, it broke the low. And this is doing this into two o'clock, which is a major reversal time. And I actually thought, I thought about this getting down here just for some squeeze somewhere. It actually did go to one of the targets, which is 1025. So I had perfect exit on this too, into this drop. So it was a, this was a good trade. It was basically a five cent risk. Okay, six pennies, 40 by 60, okay, to make down in here 25, 26, I mean, there's a first target. It could have gone to 10. It did not go to 10. It could have gone to 10, it didn't. So this was a nice little three hour trade there just to squish some in. I call it chunking onto my day simply because I wasn't looking for some big crazy number. I just saw a nice little, nice little entry in there. That's what I did. Uh, and it was like opportunity just screaming at me. So beautiful little move down there. And if you suffered waiting for this to go, you were never down money in this in here. And the trade that happened in here, you were never down. You were waiting, you were waiting. I call it suffering because you have to wait and wait and wait and wait. You don't have to wait for anything in the morning. That's why I like to trade them early morning. You get momentum moves with no suffering, no waiting. Boop, you're out. But if you want to get the bigger drops, you do have to be patient. You do have to wait. There will be times I do that I didn't feel like doing on a Friday afternoon against the market, but then I saw this late and took it and it was really quick and it was all out. So it was a really nice trade. This is w, uh, SWHC, the Smith um, Smith & Wesson. This is a Stock Swiss Show play of the day. Beautiful, 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 nice gap in here. And this will, I will be watching on, for Monday. Uh, this will continue. This will continue. This will continue on Monday.
and it was a great gap. So if anyone's interested in learning how to trade gaps and rate gaps and play gaps, then email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. And feel free to email me if you're interested in signing up for the GAP class next weekend, September 14th and 15th. Have a great weekend, everybody.